Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm 16 and I'm from Central Islip High School. Hi, I'm Jennifer and I'm 16 years old and I'm from Central Islip High School. Hi, my name is Nate. I'm 16 and I'm from Central Islip High School. <laughs> <laughs> I say strive for your dreams and goals, work hard, and in the end, all your hard work will pay off. Some of us tend to not be as positive, and although there are bad things that go on in our lives, personally, um, we need to see the positive side of everything and still be able to work hard and accomplish what we really want. I truly believe no one has as much control like for your life as you do so it's like no matter if you want something you're gonna do everything in your power to get to what you want you'll always like push yourself strive yourself motivate yourself to what you want because you know how bad you want that no matter what people tell you like about your dreams or what opinions they have as long as it's your dream you should be able to follow that as much as you want to. I feel like you just have to stay focused and keep a positive mind and your dream would never seem impossible to you. First thing I would like, you know, I would say is that, you know, some people, they have a dream. Everyone has a dream, but, you know, sometimes to get to their dream, they just want to get to the end goal, but they don't, they don't put in the work for it. You know, put in the work, you know, strive for your dream. You know, if that's something you really want to accomplish, you have to put in the work. You, you can't just get to your end goal. You have to, you have to put in the work. You have to focus on what you want to do. Your end goal is basically the reward. And, and when you put in the work, that's the feeling you get when you, you know, you actually achieve your goal is like none other and to do that you just you have to put in the work and you have to focus and you have to strive and you have to believe in yourself that you can accomplish this goal and you know and follow your dream our coach had mentioned a 5k that the house of judah was hosting so we were interested in it and we decided to participate Yes, uh, so my coach, he told me about this 5K and it was funny because a week before this, I had told him, I was like, I really wanna do like a 5K. I've never done it before. I feel like it would be so much fun. And he gave me this flyer and it was for the House of Judah. And I looked at Jen and I was like, girl, we We're are doing, doing this, this together. 5K. Like we love running <laughs> yeah. together. I was like, we have to do this. And that's exactly what we did. My experience at the House of Judah has been amazing. Honestly, I never really thought that I would like feel so welcomed and loved at a church, but when I walked in there, I felt so loved by people I didn't even know. I felt so accepted. I felt like, wow, like I finally found somewhere that I fit in, where people understand me, where you discuss about like real life situations. I feel like if you ever walk in there feeling lost, you can walk out and say, wow, I finally found myself a home. My experience at the House of Judah has been phenomenal. At the House of Judah, you feel like so full of energy, so happy. You feel like you don't want to miss a day at church. You feel the energy and you just love being there. So that's, that's just something that you don't really find at much in many churches. Because everything is so relatable, you feel like, wow, there's like actually something that I can engage myself in. I feel like I don't have to do something, but you want to. Like, you want to be there. You want to engage yourself with the youth kids. You want to sing, a, a, like, you know, with a, the choir. It's amazing. Like, you feel welcomed. It's like you never feel obligated, but you don't want to miss a day. You feel as if there's such a good energy, it's such a good vibe, and you never want to let it go. Academically, you know, it's hard, you know, balancing work and school because I am underage and I still have to, you know, go to school while working. So even when I'm on set, as soon as they say cut, I'm I'm back in, you know, in my trailer doing homework and, and you know, doing my schoolwork and still keeping my grades up, but also doing what I want to do, following my dreams, you know, being an actor and all of that. Um, something I do that helps me balance the school and the work is that you know, I try to just really focus, you know, on on my dream. You know, I want to do this acting and with that, you know, I have to still do my schoolwork because, you know, education, you know, you need your education in life as well. So I really try to just put myself in the mindset like this is what I want to do. And to do that, I have to do my schoolwork as well. What inspires me the most about Central Islip is I get to use my town as something that I can look up to. 
So, you know, in every community, there's always gonna be good and bad. And when bad happens in my community, I just look at that and I'm just like, what could I do to make that different? What could I do to have that situation be better? You know, in Central Islip, a lot of people like to look at the negative, you know, and that kind of inspires me to just, you know, want to look at the positive, you know, because there's a lot of positive things, you know, also going on in Central Islip. Uh, you know, with the talent, you know, there's so much hidden yeah, talent yeah, in Central so Iceland, you know? You know, there's a lot of kids who, you know, they sing, you know, they... Band. Oh, exactly, the band. Sports. Sports, art, all acting, of that. Exactly. Like, it's you know, just and amazing. Just, you know, hearing, you know, people talk about the negative, it inspires me to want to talk about the positive, basically, you know? There's also a program that I'm in, it's called the MTA Explorers Program. It's part of the NTA Police. And we do a lot of community service. We help um, do food drives. And we help those who are, um, during Thanksgiving, we help those who are in need of food. And there's a lot of things that people don't really notice that we do inside of Central Iceland. And it needs to be noticed, not by the negative, but by the positive. We're very diverse here. There's so many different kinds of people. So and many, that's mixed why, cultures. Yeah, exactly, and sometimes I feel you know, people don't feel, you know, as judged here because everybody's different. I say what Central Islip is missing are probably like programs for the younger generation to hang out, have fun, have a distraction. I truly believe we need more programs for teenagers and people who are becoming like young adults. I feel like we need to educate our teenagers more on how serious drug use is and gang violence. Central Islip could have, you know, more community events where the people can come together, you know, because there's a lot of people, I feel in a community, everybody should kind of know everybody, you know what I mean? So with these community events, that is a, there's an opportunity for people to learn about other people and, and get to, you know, make friends or, or anything like other. that. Exactly, yeah. You know, they can have, you know, a basketball court or something like that, or just a hangout spot, or, you know, just just a place where everyone can feel safe like and have fun. Yeah. Yeah. And even if it's like things where it's like one area is for the teenagers and the parents could be somewhere else, you know, but they're still in all in the same place yeah. just doing their own thing. Exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just a place where, you know, people could feel safe, I think it's very important for communities to have.